Do you have a high performing, goal crushing, KPI dominator on your team that you can always count on to get the job done, but they are either overly emotional, don't work well with others, or they're too selfish to function, spreading toxicity throughout the team? They crush goals, but they have a lot of room in the area of personal growth. So how do you coach and encourage their growth? I mean, they're hitting all their goals. Do you really wanna upset the apple cart? Well, here's the truth. We hire people on skills and fire them on traits. And if these traits are not addressed, their toxicity will begin to chip away at the engagement of others. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three simple strategies to help you coach your high performers to ditch their toxic traits to grow to the next level. And if you wait around until the end of this video, I will share with you an amazing chart to help you understand how to productively help your high performers see the blind spots holding them back from their true leadership potential. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Derek Matthews, the co-founder of Character Quest, where we help you become the greatest leadership version of yourself. And if you wanna level up your leadership skills, then hit that subscribe button below. And if you wanna learn more about our topics and connect with me on a personal basis, check us out on Instagram where I post daily content. So I was talking to a leader the other day and they asked me, Derek, I got this high performer that hits all their KPIs every time, but I really can't promote them to the next level because they have a lot of growing up to do. What do I do? And I think this is a great question. So here are, are my thoughts. I came come up with three strategies to help you if you're in a situation like this. Strategy number one, you have to understand magical feedback. Now I've talked about this before. How do you approach a high performer to encourage them to grow? I mean, you don't wanna upset the apple cart, right? They are a bottom line contributor, crush every goal, but you are doing them a disservice if you're not helping them grow to the next level and move beyond some of those toxic traits. So maybe you have Kyle. He is your top salesman without a doubt but he blows up when confronted and lacks the patience necessary to go to the next level and be a sales manager. If he wants to be a sales manager, he really needs to ditch these traits and focus on growth. So this is when you need to use magical feedback. And I have a fun video that I did a few weeks ago about magical feedback that I'll post up above. Um, check out the video. I, uh, like I said, I had a blast doing it. So here's a skinny. Magical feedback has been shown to boost effort by 40%. So here's what magical feedback sounds like. Hey Kyle, uh, I'm giving you this feedback because I care about your growth. You belong on this team and we count on you every day. You know we have high performance and growth standards and I know that you can meet them. So here's what you're doing with this magical feedback. You're, you're, you're essentially highlighting three critical areas to boost effort, belonging, growth, and belief. And throughout that example that I gave above, below, or before, that's where you're really starting to tap into that belonging, growth, and belief. So this will allow you to give feedback in a safe and encouraging way, especially to a high performer. Strategy number two, intro to the KPGI. So part of the reason people focus more on their skills than on their traits is because they're part of a performance obsessed culture. What gets celebrated gets replicated. And if your culture recognizes and rewards people for their performance and performance alone, then that's what they're gonna focus, focus on is performance. But if you can add identifying, tracking, and celebrating growth, just like you do performance measures, something really amazing happens. People actually grow and they start to look inside themselves and see where can I improve myself. So there's a new breed of organizations in town that I would, I would like for you to meet and they're called the DDO, or the Deliberately Developmental Organization. Th this is kind of what they believe. They believe that adults can grow, that bottom line and personal growth are interdependent, profitability and individual development rely on structures that are built into the, every aspect of how the company operates. People grow through the proper combination of challenge and support, which includes recognizing and transcending their blind spots, limitations, and internal resistance to change. This is an amazing new standard that I highly suggest organizations take a look at and understand in order to take their teams to the next level. See, the, the DDO places, the Deliberately Developmental Organization, places equal emphasis on performance and growth in their people. And by establishing these standards into the ethos of how the organization operates, it gives the leader or manager permission to challenge people to grow by working on the traits that hold them back to becoming the greatest leadership version of themselves. 
It's time to incorporate growth into your key performance and growth in indicators, or what I would call the KPGI. Challenge each and every person to find an area they need personal growth in and treat that growth indicator with as much emphasis as performance. Here's strategy number three, identifying accidental diminishing qualities. So let me ask you a question for a second, and I'm speaking directly to you. I want you to think about this, okay? When you walk into a room, picture this, you walk into a meeting or you walk into, um, I don't know, the office. Do you multiply or diminish the intelligence of others? Think about that for a second. Do you make people feel bigger, better, and brighter, or do you make them feel dumber than a stump? Well, my guess is that if you're watching this, you care enough about your personal development to focus on bettering yourself. So my guess is that you multiply the intelligence of others, but, but this is where it gets interesting. You, me, and everyone else tend to accidentally diminish the intelligence of others. So let me explain. This is what's called the accidental diminisher or a well-intentioned person often following popular management practices who subtly and completely unaware shuts down the intelligence of others. So take a look at this chart to see the six different types of accidental diminishers. This is a great chart. So here's what happens with high performers. They might be unaware of their accidental diminishing tendencies, and this is holding your high performers back from their true potential. And it, it, it's wild. I mean, I suggest for you to have a fun and lively conversation with them, with your high performers and with your teams to help them understand what accidental diminishing qualities will help them grow to the next level? What, what's really holding them back? Which of these are they doing on a regular basis that they need to work on? These can also be part of their KPGI. You'd be surprised how many leaders are 100% unaware of how their leadership practices they thought to be empowering we're actually limiting or restricting others from using their full intelligence. And this is what I mean by how a high performer can think that they're doing something helpful, but they're almost hurting their team through toxic uh, accidental diminishing qualities. And so by addressing accidental diminishing qualities in each and every one of us, especially a high performer, you wanna, you wanna take them to the next level, we begin to unlock untapped potential that has really been hibernating for far too long. So I hope these three strategies have helped you understand how to take your high performer that needs just a little bit more tough growth love to the next level. And I, and I wanna know down in the comments below, I mean, this is fun, let's be honest here, which accidental diminishing quality do you struggle with? It's always healthy to identify and share where you need to grow. And hey, if you wanna level up your leadership, then hit that subscribe button. Hit me up in the comments and hit that bell to be notified when we post a weekly video. And again, if you wanna connect with me, hit us up on Instagram where I will be able to connect with you and help serve you better. And you know, Instagram is where we post all of our daily content. So hey, I had a lot of fun making this video. I hope you get something out of it. Uh, I know I get something out of each one of these videos and I love serving each and every one of you and seeing you grow and we'll see you on the next video.